Check out Delano 3 Creations on SD for inspirational apparel and accessories designed, produced, and distributed by a father-daughter duo from right here in Central Pennsylvania area. If you have a design in need for a family reunion, church event, birthday, or just because, consult with Delano 3 Creations on SD for more information. Man, what you playing? Playing zombie killers, man. What you mean? Man, what you need to do is go on YouTube and search the Skybox. Skybox? Yeah, man. Is it on is it on YouTube? Yup. Spotify? Yup. It's on multiple platforms. All you have to do is search the Skybox. It's me, Michael C., the source of life over the mic. My guest and I will share our stories and our experiences. If you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, hit me up at the one, the number one, skybox at gmail.com. If you're on your favorite podcast app or YouTube, all you have to do is search the skybox. And if you're on YouTube, click that like and subscribe button. It's only three ninety nine. dollars and if you're on Facebook, all you have to do is search me, Michael C. or Michael Curtis, M-I-C-H-E-A-L, Curtis. On the show today, we have my guy. The NBA Playoff Edition, featuring me, Blake Hamilton. Back. You already know who I got. I got my guy. I brought him back, yo. I brought him back for one time, one time only. Yo, check it out, man. It's the NBA playoffs. 2021. Good year, man. So you know what? I said to myself, who else could I bring back that could make this thing exciting for me? And there was only one person that came in mind. Blake. The hammer, hammer. What's up, What's going on? What you got? What's up, brother? What's going on? What's going on, man? You already Happy know. Happy to be here. That's it to be here. <laughs> this is it, dog. You already know. This is it. We talking some real big stuff now, man. I mean, but the, the NBA, man, it's, a, it's great that we're able to see some consistent basketball. And, you know, bring the fans back. <laughs> let's get it going. Let's, let's, right, let's, right, let's right, do some right. action because I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know you're ready, dog. Remember, mask up, y'all. Mask up. We're, we're hitting that corner. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. Hit that like and subscribe button. Remember, it's only $3.99. But anyway, like I said, man, let's get right into it, man. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Yeah, you're ready. Well, what you want to talk about, man? I mean, you know, it's you know. coming to an end, you know, east and the west. Who you like out of the east? Like I, <laughs> I mean, as you know, you know, the, the Sixers clinched the number one seed, so, you know, they, they're, they're looking good, and, you know, but the East, man, it's like a, oof, there's a lot of competition, man, there are a ton of competitors, so we got the cursed Knicks, ah, ah, literally, ah, ah, let's go! Let's go. I've been waiting for him to say this for years. Let's go. The curse has been lifted. Yes, let's the curse go. Has been lifted, let's bro. go. No, sh- shout out to uh, what, what's my man's name? Randall. Julius Randall. He's uh somebody I, I read I read a couple articles about him and he was, you know, I think he was saying that the difference maker is I went from four to eight hours a day in the gym. And you know, you know, I think that that's enough 
to, to lift the curse. You know, it, you know, if you have the, the dedication and the passion, you know, and, 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 and you know, he's out there doing things that are of an elite level. Agreed. So, yeah, so, you know. I agree. I agree. I you agree. know, I'm happy that this curse is being lifted because, you know, Michael Jordan really put, you know, I, I think, you know, we talked about this. I felt that Michael Jordan put a curse on him and basically, like, that was it. And they just, they just can't win. So, you know, now to see this. You're, you're, you're happy that you got that off your chest. Yeah. Because, I mean, you didn't want to say that to me, but I'm That's telling you, hey, you guys just can't. Man. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Nick, stand up. 2021, we stand up, man. Yeah, don't get too hyped, though. Because <laughs> I think that while they are, uh, you know, very strong, you know, they also need, you know, they would need a lot to come out of these things. I mean, they would need some luck. And, I do like R.J. Barrett. He's also somebody that's um, kind of still still getting better, but also you know on the humble and just like you know plays hard, plays hard. D. What about D. Rose? Oh, of course. I think that was a big that was a big big like piece for us. We needed that better leader. Go on YouTube and hit that like and subscribe button. It's only. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Are you only on YouTube? Nope. Spotify? Yup. Anchor? Yup. Google Podcast? Yup. So you're on many platforms? Yup. So how do we find you? All you have to do is search the Skybox. Sky give him all his respect and everything. So for him to come in and do what he's supposed to do, that was that's great, you know. It, but 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 again I think that the problem is gonna lie in, you know, these matchups and these other teams where they got other guards that are supercharged and, and score and, you know, take the heat, Miami Hurt, right? You got Jimmy Butler, who's the other kid the, 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 the super tall, long uh, I saw a band of a lot of uh, Bam. tall white kids. No, oh, oh Bam, 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 Bam uh, out of bio. Yeah, he's obviously a strong player. Are you talking about Duncan Robinson? Yeah, you know, kind of hero. Yeah, like when, once you get into like to the to the matchups and, and playing, you know, they stretch, they stretch the, the, the defense and they get shots. So like yeah. those other teams, man, you know, it's while it is good that you know, you know, they're doing well in this. Season play, uh, you know how playoffs are. It's a ball game. Oh, it's a different monster. I mean, yeah. And so, you know, it's going. It's, it's going to be interesting. I think that uh, you know the Bucks are looking good, but again, like you know, they've been dropping some games here and there. I don't believe, man. I, don't, I just don't believe with them. Yet. I don't believe in them. Why? Why don't you believe in them? They got the shooters. Uh, they have. They do. Yeah, man. I think that's what they built around with um, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I really think they looked at, they had to build shooters around him because they were going to collapse the floor on him because Giannis is not a, a pure shooter. He's, he drives and kicks. Yeah. So you got to get a, you have to get a shooter and you need the space of floor for him. And you need a big man that is a rim protector plus a shooter. Yeah. Look, if, as far as the Bucks go, I mean, I just, when they dropped the game, They lost to somebody. Right? Somebody weak. Yeah, they lost to a week. But, no, they lost to the Spurs. I think it was the Spurs. But, uh... Somebody for, weak. Well, but, and they're in the West. But, again, it's, it's, it's for me, looking at Giannis, you know, he's becoming even more of a beast. And, you know, he's stepping out more. And I think, you know, if they have a couple more pieces, they're going to be... They should be unstoppable. But, you know, you have to be seen. So, I think... It's uh, going to end up being about matchups, and then you know, if the Sixers can can get through, you know, the first round, not having a letdown, you know, MB and you know, bias and the system, you know, really sending the to play extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, but they have a big chance because they got they got the size and they got the they got the guards and they got Curry. Yeah. And they got he doesn't. If he, if he stays consistent, 
But they do also have a problem in there. Their backup big guy gets another technical. That's another game. Oh yeah, sixteen technicals. Yeah, he already got one already. So look, yeah. seventeen. Those are all That's huge. Yeah, I mean Dwight Howard is somebody that you I mean, he's been kind of a staple in the league. It's just, uh, it's like, at the same time, he also has been you know, he's been a little uh, how would you say getting to us where the guys are. Off, you know, you know, people off the time, you know, that's what you do, that's what you do, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's not a good look. I mean, no. look, I'm a Lakers fan, and he, he helped bring a championship to the, another championship to the, the, the franchise. <laughs> but they traded him, you know what I'm saying? They got rid of him like the antics, the antics, man. So, the antics. you know, there's a reason for that, I'm sure. The antics. I mean, obviously, uh, not to be all we don't have to go into that, but right. I think we can get into the West talk. And uh, I just need one more. I just want to hear one thing. You listen in. You listen here, Keith with Mark. You know who it is, Tony. Oh, and I'm going to ask him Mark. right now. I'm asking right now, Blake. Who's winning? Hawks, Knicks in the seven game series. Listen, the Knicks have I, a four. Look, look, the, the Hawks have been playing extremely well this year. Mm-hmm. So I'm not like super familiar with them, but I know that, you know, they're in a position where, you know, they're going to be, it's going to be a, it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, it's going to be a fight. And uh, I think, I think the challenge is going to be really just, you know, Randall's going to have to really step up and, and, and RJ, I mean, you know, D Rose is going is to do what he needs to do. RJ Barrett is kind of like the linchpin. He seems like, because, you know, the older guys, they're pretty good and, and they're producing, you know, but I think RJ is well, he's in his second year. He's in his third year. Is this third? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, well, he, I, he's, to me, I think that he, it's just, you know, he's got to step up. He's got to play. He's got to play out of his shirt in the playoffs. Right. Hey, I you know. know. You know, if you want to be able to be like, uh, he, the first round. So he had. So you're saying he's the piece that will have them go over the top to, well, get, to, to get over that or the, this round. I mean, uh, let's say hypothetically speaking, with with respect to well, well, obviously right. players that do their thing too. That, that, right. You know, all right. You know, Heroes right. come to play. You know, Randall comes to play. Right. So you need. You're going to need three guys that are going to be playing really, really well. Just you know, offensively, and you know they got they got a pretty good defense too. Defense as well. Right. You know, they, they, they play hard defense, so, you know, got a chance, man, but I wouldn't, I mean, I'm not putting my money on that, so. Man, let me tell you right now, Lamar, listen to me, man, listen to me, Nixon Six, holl at me, oh, man, God. Nixon Six, let's go get it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, man. Move out west. Let's move out west. I mean, how was you know, you know. Lakers? Lakers getting that playing game. Yeah, I mean, it's a look. longer. I'm gonna say this. It, at first, I'm, I was saying the Lakers were gonna win, but this is what I'm also gonna say. I'm gonna still stick with that bet because I'm a man of my word. I'm gonna stick with my bet. But it is gonna be a lot harder for the for the Lakers to win the championship and out west with the injuries they have. Mm. And their health is the only thing that's going to get in their way if they don't win out west. I mean, look, man, I don't know what is wrong with people. Uh, I don't know if anybody's paying attention. Like, the lineups, you know, the matchups, man. You know, look at the size of the Lakers. Like, I, I just don't see it. I mean, in a seven game series, the. I mean, the front court and the back court. I mean, just from Montrez, Terrell, to Drummond, to Gasol, to uh, uh, the other guy. Oh, oh Drummond. I'm right, right, Drummond. Yeah, Drummond, LeBron's out, David. You know, got Kyle Kuzma down there. Well, and then just as guards, you got Kuzma, you got KPP, you got PHT, you got 
So, like, That's all true. these guys, all these guys are, like, playing their hearts out every night. I mean, if anyone's paying attention, like, the lineups are crazy. The matches are crazy, and then LeBron's going to come back. So then it's going to be like, all right, who's stopping these guys? Like, be realistic. Like, their like, health. Their health? Their I mean, health who's the only, That's the only thing who's going to stop them. The I only think. thing that, I mean, right now, you got LeBron. My man's calling him the ankle. Uh, but he'll be back. He's just, he's just making sure he's going to be good. I agree. I agree with that. And then, uh, what's his name? Um, and then uh, Schroeder. He's out for COVID That's reasons COVID. or whatever. But he's 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 not stupid. He's finding the time and he's going to come back in the playoffs. These guys are going to cut through these teams, dog. Like, you understand? Like, they got Drummond, Montre, Terrell, and. But this is this is what I'll say about that. Let me not cut you off real quick. Real quick. It's okay. Like that playing game can be dangerous for you guys. Because it's not a series, it's has an NCAA feel, one and done type of thing. Well right now it's May sixteenth, so it's not actually a hundred percent yet that they're gonna be But true. if but most likely they will. But Denver would have to from what I read, Denver would have to, uh, you know, basically throw the game against uh, Portland so that... And who's not saying Portland is not going to go out there and play because Portland has something on the line. Well, they're going to play, period. I mean, I, I don't think they're going to throw the game at all, but it could work out where, you know, they wouldn't even have to do that. But at the end of the day, they play the Warriors. I mean, fine. Like, it doesn't matter. Look at the matchup. I mean, Steph Curry can score 100 points. It doesn't matter. You got... It's the same... It'll be the same thing all over again. As it was when they when they came back and beat them, you saw that. Yeah, I lost money on that. And 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 you know everyone's ignoring that. Everyone always ignores it. And you sit here and you complain about LeBron and all this stuff he tweets or whatever. And then he goes in the game and he dunks on everyone. Gets the ball, drives on everyone. Thirty six years <laughs> old, gets the ball, comes down the court, throws a pass behind his back to somebody. For a layup, and everyone acts like this, you know. Everyone just, you know, keep keep talking. Okay, you know, fine. So we're just. The first, the first round, everybody yeah, gonna be back. back by the everybody gonna be nice and nice and nice and fresh. Hell, yeah, nice and fresh. And you know what? You know, we, you know, we forgot to talk about uh, with respect to the East. Because you know who possibly, you know, they're gonna come out. Here. Um, Brooklyn Nets. Um, oh, I already said it. I, I, I ran with Nets, Nets Lakers. Nets Lakers? Nets, Nets Lakers is, not, is what I'm saying. That's confident. I just, I just think that, you know, between the Lakers and the Nets, um, and what they have in common is they have a lot of, you know, talent. Yeah, they got a lot of individuals with a lot of different, you know, you know, skill sets. And, they, and, and I just look at the Lakers like, yo, you, they got four, four big men that are, you know, great basketball players. Right. You know, they're not just like they're not typical big men. Yeah, they're all like basketball players. Man. Right. They're all gonna straight demolish you if you give them you give them space or if you're not addressing them. They're gonna take advantage. So you throw LeBron and Anthony Davis in that mix. They 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 beat King. I could I was laughing, man. Alright? You know we're on the group chat. We gotta call it shout out to Phil. Shout out to Phil Bedroom. Oh man. What up, what I'm up? sorry we didn't even break that what up. Phil? What's popping with you, baby? Shout out to the Bird What's Gang. With you, baby? Shout out to the Bird Gang. They're out here talking crazy. And now everybody, you notice it went a little quiet, right? Like it's winning now. You saw it? Well, the ankle went out, right? Yeah, like yeah. the ankle went yeah. out. They won. They won us. They, they barely beat, beat us. Without they them. shouldn't have beat us the other night, though. Beat honest. them without them. Yeah, they shouldn't have beat you, but they yeah. did. Shouldn't have beat you, but they did. That's what I'm saying. Quiet. Everybody's like, damn. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> all I know, all I know, I look at this season has been a, and it's been a great season for me because you already know, T yeah, Lap, T Lap. If we win or when we beat the Hawks, we're in that second round. You know what? You know what it's hitting for, guys. That's what I'm saying, man. Me. Everybody, I'm looking. I'm just happy to be in the dance at this point, man. I mean, yeah, like, you, look you at where we've been it. for a while, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. let me let me gloat for a little bit. I'm in the dance right now. Nah, we in there. Yeah. Nah, you can't gloat. Nah, because you about to. Go because on. I'm gonna tell you this. 
with with this happening, it's, it's gonna happen, and we're gonna get a superstar. And it's only gonna and, and it's only gonna look up, man. It's only gonna go up. You got your superstar, bro. You got Randall. Yeah, but he but we got him locked in. But you need more. You don't oh. need one superstar. You need more. Yeah, well, look, yeah, I, I agree with that, and I think that um, you saw you saw Zion when he first came to the Madison Square Garden. Yeah, that's going to be seven years from now. But you see how he was loading. Oh my God, he was like a kid in a candy store, man. Man, listen. Um, yeah, I, I think that you have a, you have a real strong point. I, I, I would like to call, um, I would like to, you know, call out a player that everyone, every franchise would be seriously looking at, um, CJ McCollum. Oh my God, yeah. Yo, I like every time I watch the, my man on these different highlights, he is, he is surgical. Ice. Oh my God. The, but the, guess what? He's not going anywhere. Yeah. He's staying in Portland with me. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I say. I don't know. I don't know. Let me not say that because, yeah, like, yeah. everybody bounces, like. I'm just saying, what? he's 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 a really, really strong you know, guard, combo guard that, you know, the Knicks can really use, the Sixers can really use, like, like some of these teams that are, like, right there. I mean, if they went to, if you went to the Sixers, think how big would be. Oh, my. Him with, with oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Think about that, yeah. you know? So, so I just look at, I'm, I mean, I'm watching, I'm, I'm just looking at what's going on with the Trailblazers, and, you know, man, I don't think that they'll, you know, be able to do much because, you know, it's just, they don't have the, they don't have the size, you know. They got my man. They got uh, Melo. They got Melo. They got Melo. Yeah, but they, they don't have the size. The, ma- the matchups. Are they don't really have defense. Good. They don't play D either. Uh, I don't they don't know. play D. They, they don't do, play D. but they, they don't play D like that. I think nope. it's just they don't have the size, man. You got Dame and you got CJ McCollum and you got Melo and you got the, uh, but the, but the um, yeah, Nurkic. Nurkic, he's good, but he's not. He's he, he need he need help. You know what I'm saying? He's not like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So they're, you know, it is what it is for them. Denver, I think that you know they lost my man. What's his name? Um, they lost ACL. Jamal Jamal Murray. That was that yeah, was huge. That, shout out to Jamal Murray. He, yeah. plays, he plays really hard, man. Yeah, I like he Jamal plays hard. hard. He plays hard. Man. And shout out to Jalen Brown too, man. That was another one. That was another Celtics. one. Rough. Yeah. What happened there? He hurt. He his hand. Oh, and her wrist, he got her surgery. And then, shout out, shout out to Victor Oladipo. That was rough, that? man. He got hurt too? Yeah, he's done too. What leg, happened? Leg, lower, lower leg. What? Quad. Quad? Yeah. I want to go with quad. Damn. Because he, 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 he's with Miami. He grinds. Oh, I know. He grinds. So he that come, sucks. He's going to be, he's, he's got a lot of, had a lot of like bad injuries. Yeah, that's, that's tough, man. That's tough. Um, that's, that's rough. Well, look, man, I, I think that at the end of the day, the NBA is going to be, I mean, it's definitely going to be all right. It's a great hands. Yeah, I mean, look, I, lo- I like the play-in thing. Yeah, I like that. Too. that, that the, uh, LeBron, LeBron uh, commented, like, yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the play-in is great. And then when the... When the everybody knew. Were in, were in, yeah, everybody right? liked to get in it. They get in it. Like, yeah, man, yeah, what's yeah, he yeah. saying? Yeah, he's, man, somebody should Mark, fire Mark, for that. Mark Cuban was on that. <laughs> So what's um what's what's his name um the star for uh, oh my god oh my god oh my god number seventy seven number for who plays for Dallas my god come on Doncic huh Doncic there you go Luca there you go Luca yeah I mean he's nasty Luca was also complaining about it but Luca's been doing a lot of complaining yeah and, I mean I and saw... he's even said that too. And that's hey, you know what? That's good for him because I, I I don't really pay attention to my man too much. He's nasty. Yeah, he's nice. just so everybody. You know, he's nasty, but I don't really pay attention to him. But I did see a video where he got ejected because Colin Sexton. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. That was, you know what that what, what what's up with the referees? Like <laughs> where like what do you what did you see? That you you know they said that he t- he struck in his groin area, but it's like that's not nah, that that's not what happened. Right. He was just in that position, so when he turned, it looked like he was like going it. in that direction. But right. nah, he. So I thought that was like a really um, interesting situation and, 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 and a really poor judgment call by the refs, like using video. I found that to be very interesting. 
you watch a video and then you just you call it and call you call it you see it but then you don't actually I, I mean I, I don't understand so the, the rest blew that one move on but, <laughs> but yeah Luka Doncic man he's uh he's nice yeah yeah He definitely told him to stop eating that gas that gas station sushi and let's, let's go get it. Yeah, I mean, look, he's uh he's obviously a great coach, and I actually have uh, I researched a book that was that he did when he was young. Like he, no, Doc Rivers, got together with I don't know the name of the gentleman who wrote the book, but they got together and put together a book called like the Basketball Conditioning Book. Okay. And so basically, there's like pictures of him doing all these different drills uh, with, with this guy that wrote the book. And, uh, you know, so, so Doc Rivers is someone that, uh, you know, he's extremely knowledgeable. Uh, oh, so, yeah. so just to see him come in one year and then help them, you know, get to the first round, the number one 
see Clinch done like knife through butter, you know. Uh, that's admirable. He should probably he should be coach of the year. But uh, nah, huh. Tom Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau. Yeah, look at what we did. Like, look at Vegas only got it. I'm going to just roughly think of between 25, 22 to 25 games. Vegas said we're going to win. We won three. Yeah. But no one saw us going to come into this. No one saw us going to That's that. Julian Randall. I mean, but that has also to do with Tom Thibodeau. Okay, so. The culture. He changed the culture for them. Oh. Between that, between them and the front office, they changed the culture for that. Okay. Okay, but like I said, um, you know, the, the coach that clinched the number one seed, the team, the number one seed, and, you know, uh, that's pretty strong. Huh? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, you don't think, like, you think that MB should be player of the year? MVP? I think if you didn't got injured in those, in those five games, yeah, I don't want to win the MVP. So you got her. So you got her. So you're. Ability. But like what yeah. Check that off. Yeah, we're gonna have to you know. Yeah. yeah we have to talk about that. What's the criteria on MVP? You know, what you know. I mean they, now they talk about MVP being it to the point where it's like they don't announce it to what? Second round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be popular. I'm telling you now that's oh, yeah. Shout out to the uh oh yeah, let's yeah, let's do that. Let's so shout out to, I saw you had uh, Alfie Harrison on there, Susquehanna, yeah. 1997 championship. Like, uh, I was a kid when they were, when they were rocking. Shout out to Reggie Guy, shout out to, you know, Boomer, like Coach Emery Cook. Uh, I know I'm missing you, Coach Walter, uh, not the Coach, uh, Walter Van, uh, Walter Van's brother, uh, uh, what's his name? Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Devan, like, you know, there's a lot of great uh, basketball players. And, and, gentlemen that are out there uh you know definitely you know, definitely want to shot all those guys out i see them on uh every, you know, some people are on like social media and things so you know, i think that's that's dope and, and it, yeah check out skybox Al, alfie harrison he was on here on the last episode that was that was dope so, yeah you know, you know i i could definitely go for like, days yeah we got we got to make like a whole like a segment for shout outs like Literally, I'm, I'm straight up, you know, ain't that the truth, though? We'll be on here, if you have any thoughts, questions, or concerns, hit me up at the one, the number one, skybox at gmail.com. And if you're on your favorite podcast app or YouTube, all you have to do is search the skybox and hit that like and subscribe button. It's only free 99. Free 99. And, and if you're on Facebook, all you have to do is search me, Michael C. or Michael Curtis. M-I-C-H-E-A-L Heard it. And again, the next time on the Skybox, we're going to have the CLA team to try on here. And I'm telling y'all, this is going to be a good one. Don't miss out on that one. I guarantee you that one's going to be a cold one. But again, this is the Skybox. I am Michael C., the source of light over the mic. And also, be good to yourself, y'all. Peace. Go to YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's only free 99. Free 99? Are we only on YouTube? Nope. Are we on Google? Yep. How about Anchor? Are we on Spotify? Yep. How can they find us? Search.